how do we solve this embedded root solution so let x to be equals this old guy we have square root of 2 times square root of 2 square root of 2 square root of 2 on and on like that let's take the square of both sides so we're gonna have s square equals square root of 2 times square root of 2 square root of 2 square root of 2 on and on so we're gonna square it so this implies that x square is equals to clearly this bigger square root takes care of these two so we are left with two times square root of two square root of two square root of two on and on like that let's proceed further we have s square equals two you observe that this old guy is exactly what we have here x so we're gonna have x right in this equation we have s square minus 2x equals 0 s is common so let us pull it out so we're gonna have x into x minus 2 equals 0 so this implies that x equals to 0 or x minus 2 equals 0 so therefore x equals 0 or x equals to 2 for this case we have x to be equals to 0 but don't forget our assumption we let x to be equals to square root of 2 square root of 2 which means that this guy must be greater than 0 that means that x being equals to 0 violates our condition so this is not part of the solution so x equals to 2 is the required solution